There's Puddles. Uh, a lot of cave on Thibodeau talk, and Fresno State quarterback Jake Hayner has heard all of it, but he does not hear number five behind him right there. That is a fumble. Mace Funa returns at 13 yards, and Oregon's in good shape. Third and goal. C.J. Verdell reservations for six. Ducks go up 7-0. Another Fresno turnover led to another Oregon short field touchdown. It was all good until it wasn't. Thibodeau, second quarter. Right there, five gets rolled by one of his teammates on his leg. He's down. Medical staff out. He'd get up on his own, uh, walk off on his own. He'd come back in the game, didn't have the movement. Later, he appears in a boot right there. Foot sprain is what coach called it after the game. Uh, this game was a lot closer than my stomach had anticipated. Painter, <laughs> the transfer from UW, two yard touchdown. They went for two, it was tied at 21. Then it was Fresno 24 21. Now it's 24 24. What can Brown, well, the six year senior, he can do that. That's a big run right there. They're partying at Rennie's at the Cooler at Don Essex's house. Oregon at Ohio State next Saturday after winning this one 31 24. Last check, Buckeyes were about a 10 point favorite. Listen, Thibodeau's Mel Kuyper's favorite. Number one on his big board for next year's NFL draft. Looking to become the first non quarterback drafted number one overall since the Browns took Miles Garrett in 2017. The much bigger question is will he be in Columbus? All right, Washington was being touted by some as one of those watch out sleeper teams until the 20th ranked dogs took a nap against visiting Montana. I mean, Montana won 17 and 1 against Washington. Cam Humphrey, Xavier Harris. He's got a first down and then some. Montana was over 9 on third downs up until that play. Washington was a, was a three plus touchdown favorite, but I mean, they're going crazy at the Mo Club. Is Humphrey. Dives in for the score. I mean, where's Kirk Scrapper? Where's Brock Coyle? Where's Dallas Neal? Chase Reynolds? Jimmy Wilson? Where are the great Montana Grizzlies of the past? They are partying. Marcus Wilnell picks up Dylan Morris right there. That seals it. Montana. I mean, this is a shock. 13 to 7 over Washington. And if you don't know what to make of this, then we will not relate. With Montana's win, FCS teams are now five and 358 against AP ranked opponents since the FBS and FCS split in 1978. The first win came back in week one of 07 when App State pulled off that upset over number five, Michigan. I was in the studio with Jesse Palmer on ESPN2 for that one. Let's check on the NL wildcard race. Cincinnati had a half game lead on the Padres for the second spot. Cincinnati hosted Detroit on Saturday. Picking up top of the third scoreless two runners on two outs. Eric Haas three run shot is 20th Tigers out to a three nothing lead. Bottom third Reds now on the board. It's three two two runners on for Aristides Aquino facing Matthew Boyd. Aquino two for 30 since August 19th slumped that he's ninth of the season. So both teams with three run home runs in the third Reds take a five three lead. Tigers beat them 15 to five. On Friday, bottom seven, Tyler Nake with a pinch hitting for Aquino. And that spot in the order continues to dominate Detroit. That's going to drive in two. Reds increase the lead to 7 4. And that was the final. All right, so now what about the Padres? At home with the Astros in town, bottom of the second, bases loaded. Padres down two to one from Fernando Tatis Jr. Adam Frazier and Austin Nola will come in to score. Part of a four run second for San Diego off Framber Valdez. We move to the seventh. It's 4 2 San Diego at this point. Manny Machado thinks this would be a good time. Off Christian Javier. 453 feet. Two run shot. 24th for Machado. Bottom of the eighth. It's 8 2 San Diego. Now here's Tatis Jr. again. And there he goes. 444 feet off Josh James. 
Tatis with his 37. That's tops in the NL. Will Myers also hit his 17th. Padres remain a half game back in the wild card too. Oh, so many standout plays in college football on Saturday. It, Week one moments, some of them missed the cut, but we've got top 10 plays. I mean, could this show get any better? Looking up the middle. Throws his fan open! 